door to you. Make you day careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. My original. You should know where to go. The SOM. It's the beginning of the year. And that time, when many, including organizations, set goals and targets towards attaining success in any human activity they engage in. For a responsive and critical regulatory agency like the Standards Organization of Nigeria, expectations are usually high from consumers and stakeholders to tackling the disturbing prevalence of substandard products in the country and ensure consumers get value for money. We felt the pulse of a cross-section of Nigerians on what they expect from the SON this year. The program you are watching is Standard & You and my name is Ife Nua Okonkwa. Please stay tuned. My good people of Nigeria, anytime you want to buy iron rod, there are four important things you look out for. One of them is the name of the manufacturer which is on the product, date of production, which is on the product also. The length of the rod, which must be 12 meters, nothing short of 12 meters. And then the diameter, if you are going for 8 mm, ensure that the diameter of the rod you are buying is exactly 8 mm, nothing less than that. If you are going for 10 mm, ensure that the diameter of the rod you are buying is 10 mm, nothing less than that. If you are going for 16 mm, ensure the diameter of the rod you are seeing trying to buy is 16 mm exactly and others like that. Nothing short of the exact diameter you want to buy when you go to market to buy iron rod. Buy right, buy authentic, SON. Improving lives through standards. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us on the program. Do everything you can to protect consumers from the menace of substandard products. Nigerians tell Standards Organization of Nigeria as 2023 unfolds. This was the trust of the message by a cross-section of consumers who spoke to Standard and New on their expectations from the SON in the new year. Please take a listen. They are all over the place, imported into the country by unscrupulous businessmen. These are substandard products. They are a menace to society because they are of low quality and have adverse effect on consumers, the nation's industrial sector, and the overall economy. Consumers have had to contend with the prevalence of these bad products that have denied them value for their money. In some cases, they are also exposed to great danger and sometimes death when it involves a life-threatening substandard product. If it is consumable, it could be dangerous to the health and to society at large. So in that wise, it is not even encouraging to have fake goods in society. And that is why the laws are there to check the production or selling or distribution of fake goods. You have a situation whereby our own producers, they go to China and say, okay, I want a substandard product. And what you actually realize is you have different listing product brand for each country, you have specification, a product made in China, you have a specification for United States, a different standard, the one of England. The major issue is, I think, uh, the level of the economy, the way the economy is, may mitigate against these things. So the producer actually go, they say, okay, I do a substandard product that people can easily afford. But if you want a good product, you know where to, to go to. So from, from my own point of view, I think, the economy is also a factor. Most of the people that are making this fake product, they know that once people consume some standard uh, food item, it can lead to poison in their body. And we are having a lot of crisis on them. Even we are talking of COVID. COVID is small. The damages those ones are doing in the body, you are talking of kidney failure now. You are talking of major organ failure at a very young age which you don't even believe that a child of a year, two years, three years can have kidney failure. Now they are having it. So the effect on the body, you will see a bloating tummy and it's killing people. It kills, it's not good. I will 
if I'm in charge, I'll make sure the law enforcement they go for those people that are bringing fake code into the country. Because it kills, it kills a lot in the country. And it's not good for me. They are affecting the people in the society. Let's say, for instance, love drugs or substandard drugs or substandard anything. So we, I may not know. The, maybe the consumer will not know. We just go and buy it. And then you start consuming it. Or if any product, let's say, what, like this standards now is, uh, is fake product, how will I know? My own is just to buy and they started going about it. No doubt, government through the Standards Organization of Nigeria is doing a lot to check the influx of these bad products into the country. However, some Nigerians want government to do more to tackle the problem of substandard products. The government has to empower the SON to let them do their work. So the people in that section, that department, should be looked into very, very well and should be empowered and be monitored, not empowered alone, should be monitored so that we consumers should not be in the deluge of what is going on in the society. And we should look more on building material, those ones they are bringing in. And they should also look, there are some uh, manufacturing companies in Nigeria, they have to look into that one too. How know what they have, the material they are using, how they are using them, give them their own standard. Let them know how many people that are important in that aspect they are covering and know, give them their own standard too. If they can locate their companies, those people producing this stuff, they can locate them and then check what they are producing and see that it's okay for people to consume. I expected some to be more proactive, but the area I'm looking at is an area of building what we are infrastructure that we use to build our house. Collapse building today, tomorrow, everywhere. If they can come up with something that is good, that will have standard building like any other way, everywhere we travel in this world. It's only Nigeria that will build house today, tomorrow you hear the collapse everywhere, collapse this, collapse. Even in Iko, even in uh, Portugal, anywhere. But if someone can come up with standard before anybody build, before any approval for any building, the materials they will use to be, we, we don't need on uh, substandard material again. I wanted to improve upon the standard, checking substandard products, you know, into the country. And uh, making sure that Nigeria is not a dumping ground. And uh, that remind me of uh, after Nigeria has signed an agreement, you know, in African countries to have uh, Nigeria as a place where most of the products are being sent to Nigeria. I want them to build up security to ensure that with the coming of uh, after, they don't use this place as a dumping ground. Others were of the opinion that a lot can still be achieved through strategic cooperation between the various agencies of government, especially those at the seaports. I believe that it will strengthen regulatory effectiveness. Because one of the major challenges that we have faced in this economy over time is the effectiveness of the regulators. Capacity enhancement in the area of the sanctions, for instance. Capacity enhancement in the area of revenue generation on their own. The private sector has to support SON, especially in the area of intelligence provision. Because SON cannot be everywhere, but businesses are everywhere. So it is very easy for businesses to be able to pick up information on substandard products, on uh, fake products, on counterfeit products, and pass on same to the, the, the standard organization of Nigeria. For other school of thought, self-regulation will tremendously help check the distribution of substandard products. They are advocating regular public enlightenment to empower consumers with relevant information on the dangers of patronizing and consuming fake and substandard products. I want to also agree with a lot of stakeholders who are complaining that there are infiltration of a lot of uh, substandard products in the country. Yes, it's our duty to ensure that standards of standard products are reduced in the country and uh, standards organization of Nigeria over the years have carried out a lot of activity to ensure this is done. Uh, I will not say we have achieved 100%, there are still a lot to be done. 
uh, we, uh, in last year in particular, a lot of sensitization activities have been carried out to create awareness on the public how to identify substandard product and run away from them. Because the people that bring this substandard product is because they have market for it. If people refuse to patronize them, then they'll go out of business and they'll be forced to throw away this product and bring in the genuine product. This year, 2023, we're going to do more to ensure that the public, the general public, know how to identify this substandard product and where to go when the need arises and how to fight this substandard product. Because the fight is not only SOM fight, it's everybody's fight. And we encourage Nigerians to be aware that Nigeria should not be a dumping ground for substandard product. If we refuse to buy them, they will not bring it into this country. And if we refuse to buy them, they will not manufacture it. So we have a duty to play this year, 2023. Efforts must be made to provide local manufacturers with adequate support to make them competitive. Substandard goods are a worldwide problem because they're economically viable uh, alternatives to people. So it's not just in our country, but all over the world. And uh, we are dealing with that issue in a holistic manner. We have our enforcement department. We have captured a lot of products. In fact, we have uh, arrested a bunch of uh, people with uh, used uh, tires and uh, which are contraband in the country in Potako. And every day we are dealing with these substandard goods in so many ways. We, we liaise with the market associations, both here in Lagos and around the country. Our regional offices and uh, state offices are working 24-7. Uh, in fact, before we started the enforcement in the lubricant industry, uh, most of the companies are uh, almost threatened uh, in existence in, in this country. Too many products are made in a sophisticated way that even the factories themselves cannot differentiate until you look at the product. So we are able to prosecute a number of people from Sokoto, Lagos, uh, Cross Rivers, around the country doing this uh, terrible activity in the industry. We are making sure our ports are more efficient and uh, we are working together with agencies at the port of entries like the Customs and Exercise uh, Department to make sure that products that are coming into the country, uh, we are able to inspect them to make sure they are up to standard. For the Standards Organization of Nigeria, it's a task that the agency is committed to winning but that can only be achieved through the support of all well-meaning Nigerians. If we are looking for reasons for security in this country, one of the reasons is our industries are not protected. So now industries are closing, people are losing jobs, new employees, new graduates are looking for work. They couldn't find work to do. So they do other things. If people can invest in this country, believe in our country, we'll have millions of people employed, we'll have less bandits, less cultists, less separatists, less unemployed youth taking drugs and causing problems in the neighborhood. We have to support our industries. According to the chairman of the agency's tax force on substandard products, Enebi Onucheo, SON has developed quality infrastructure to tackling the problem of substandard products and will continue to evolve strategies to stem the tide of fake and substandard goods in the country. Iron industry right now, the iron rod, there's a lot of fight that has been on for some time. And if you go to the market today, I'm sure the story we hear today will be different from what you must have heard maybe some months ago. The story is different today. You can go and do random sampling of those who sell iron rod in the market or who use iron rod in recent times who have come to buy iron rod. I'll tell you what I'm telling you. Again, think of cable. You go to cable sector, the same thing, the fight is on. You know, we have an association, the known one that are producing cable. And those that are not even part of the association, we are still monitoring them, giving them surprise visit and all that. And some of them, we have found them wanting and taking them through, putting our officers there to make sure we monitor the destruction of those things, taking them back into the furnace to make them for those who need those destroyed cable as raw material, you know, to 
go on with their own production and all that and all that. And of course, based on the SON Act 14 of 2015, they have to pay certain fine to government, which they have paid into TSC. So that has been on. And apart from that, you go to again roofing sheet. We have we raided them last year and have carried out a lot of awareness for them. And I think the awareness is getting better and better every day. So saying that we are there, we are not there yet. And we are not saying Nigerians are absolutely happy yet. Until Nigeria can get, there is no perfect system, there is no perfect human being. At least let them get at least above 95% satisfaction in whatever they buy from the market. That is our target this year. Nigerians, he disclosed, should expect more stakeholder sensitization and stricter enforcement of laws towards prosecuting offenders caught in the act of importation and distribution of these bad products in Nigeria. We are going to increase the number now. Where we did just one forum last year, we are going to increase it to two. Again, if there is availability of one, we can even do three. Because the more you do it, the regular you come talk to them about the same thing, the more it sinks. That is what we have come to realize. So we will continue the interaction to engage all stakeholders, from consumer to manufacturer to importer and everybody within the chain. For those who have refused to obey the law, there is no hiding place for them again. That is the point. Wherever you are coming from, if we get anybody with your product in the market, we'll get you. So we have a strong strategic plan. And they know that they have no sleeping place right now. Director General of the SON, Malam Farouk Salim, wants Nigerians to begin to have a positive mindset towards addressing the problem of substandard products by not patronizing sellers of the bad goods. If I have, for example, 100,000 Naira, I fly down to another country, buy a container full of product. My only investment is that money, and I bring it here. All I do is pay the custom duties, pay some charges, and, and I'm in the market. While this other individual in Nigeria, they have cost, energy cost, transport cost, security cost, employment cost, taxes. So by the time you put all this together, it's, it's almost an unfair chance uh, com comparison. But still, our local manufacturers are doing an excellent job because the difference is not that much. If you take a foreign cable that is imported and you take a genuine manufactured cable in Nigeria, I can guarantee you the difference is not less than 10-15%. So for you, if you are a consumer, instead of paying 300,000, you are paying 320,000. You know you are buying the right product and you are helping our people uh, stay employed. You are helping our government get taxes. You are helping your community for security. 20,000 out of 300,000 is worth the investment as an individual to do the same commitment. If you go to most foreign countries, you find out that even in America, they have places where people will start saying, this is made in the USA. And they don't care if it is cost 10 naira more or 20 naira more, they will buy. Because when you're buying made in Nigeria products, you are not only buying a genuine product, but you are buying work for your brother, your cousin, your uncle. You are making sure your, your, your village or your city or the, or, or the state has a factory that is working. Now you are making sure that the individual, your businessman who is your local person, or even if it's a foreign person who has confidence in our country to come and invest in it, now you are making sure that person's investment is staying so they can stay there and then we get a better, become a better country. No country becomes a great country by importation. Okay, let me know. Eha na kege na nyambo abu ni ije ego ego eje alono. In case zizi, buye fu na fa onye luli ego a de kwa nea. In case bo bo bosi aluli ego a o de kwa na ego a o eje alono. In case to bo ogologi ego a ona de iri na abo na mita. In case no bo oporogwea. On a dit à Sato, la millimètre, il y a un millimètre, 
iri ano la millimeter nko bu no ene ego o ga eji elili to oya odo iji we ko we do ya ya na iho na ego bu eso we na akwa nitendo It's feedback time and we will be sharing five standard tips on buying right. Avoid roadside sellers. Go to reputable stores where you can get genuine products. Check the Mancap logo on Made in Nigeria goods. Sun cap on imported products to certify approval by the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Read labeling information such as manufacturer's address, expiry date, instructions, warnings and more for traceability and guidance. Demand for and insist on collecting a receipt as proof of purchase before leaving the point of entry. Complain to the seller when dissatisfied with product quality if not attended to. Seek redress with regulatory agencies like the Standards Organization of Nigeria because it's your right. And that concludes this week's edition of your favorite program, Standard and You. 0705972445 is where to send in your messages to with your full name and location. Follow us on any of our social media platforms. You can watch the program online at youtube.com forward slash standard and you. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Thank you. And as always, buy original, sell authentic and use only the best. Do have a great week. Why you they buy it? Yeah, take product to yeah. you. Make you they careful. No go damage your life. You've got one life to live. Original.